guys find stingrays mean creatures that you would be scared to actually see in the water? Okay, well with this speech I hope to change your guys' minds on that. Um, so I'll start with their bodies. On um, their bodies they are flat bodies that actually they bury themselves under the sand in the ocean. Um, so their eyes are on top on their dorsal fins up in here. And they have a little dorsal fin that you can see animated up in here. Um, and then the rest of their actual, like their mouth, their nose, everything else, their gills are underneath their bodies. Um, they also are made out of cartilage, not bones, which is just like the sharks. Um, some live in warm oceans and some live in freshwater rivers. Um, and the coloration that they have actually blends in with the sand, which helps them with their um, feeding because they are able to hide and then the predators come up and such. So now we'll go to senses. Um, they have electrical, what do you call that? Electrical sensors that are um, just like their shark relatives. They um, are able to spot prey without their eyes because their eyes don't do much as their oxygen size. Um, they have sensors around their mouth, that's where they're located, and they're called ampullae of Lorenzi, Lorenzini. Um, their tail is actually the most dangerous part on them. Um, they are sometimes used for movement in water, but generally not that much. Their primary use is for protection. Um, it has a spine on it, which is kind of the whole thing right there. Um, and then their actual tail is serrated, like that. It's on, it comes out like a little bar there. Um, that is actually venomous, and it can be fatal to humans if you're struck with it. Um, and not only that, but their tails can actually remain deadly after they die. Um, so if you step on like a stingray bar in the ocean from a dead stingray, it can kill you. Um, and actually, the ancient Greek dentist used the venom from the spine as, a, as an anesthetic back way back when. Um, the diet of a stingray. Stingrays actually do have teeth. They are located in underneath. As you, <coughs> when you feed a stingray, if you were to like go hunt or anything, if you feed a stingray, um, you stick your hand under the water and they come up and they suck your uh, suck the food out of your hand. It's like a little it's like a little suction cup. Um, where's I getting at? Oh, they have teeth which crush um, things like mollusks like uh, crabs, shrimp, anything like that. The reason they lay on the ocean ground and bury themselves is because underneath all that, shrimp, crabs, anything like that, hide under there and they suck them up. Um, the size of them is actually a pretty unique thing. Most of them, depending on the actual species, like I said, they have 70 species. Um, they are categorized into eight families. So <coughs> they, the biggest one re ever recorded was 3,600 pounds. Um, it's called the giant oceanic manta ray. And the average sizes for a stingray is actually six and a half to seven and a half feet. Um, the average weight is 600, 700 pounds. Um, the size is measured from their tail to their the tip of their head. That's how they measure the length of it. Um, stingrays living towards the bottom of the ocean actually are bigger. That's where you would find the giant oceanic manta ray, which is 3,600 pounds. Um, birthing of stingrays, they actually one unique thing about stingrays when they come out, they're exactly how they would look as an adult, just smaller. Um, they only give birth once a year, and when they do come out, they are on their own. They are completely, once they come out, they just swim away, and they're on their own. Um, they're quite large at birth, actually. For an animal, they're decently large at birth. Um, and they have two to six offspring a year. And then this is where I get to how I believe stingrays aren't that scary. Um, there's a place in the Cayman Islands called Stingray City. They take you out on this boat and 
some people don't like to get in the water, so they have a clear glass bottom boat. And um, you can see the stingrays. Not only that, the stingrays come to this area every day, I believe, and they're fed there every day. So they come at a certain time every day, and the people get in the water with them.